fifth time trying to beat this guy. Uh, do this video, I mean, and beat the guy. First time I uh, died, and the second, third, and fourth time, I realized I'm using the wrong weapon. And, and there, the mines, I've been using plastic explosives trying to beat this guy. And they, I was using all 15, which I only have 14 right now, but I had 15. And I was using all 15, it wasn't doing anything. Well, I'm supposed to be using mines. So I did look it up because I was like, I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. And this is about the only purpose that these mines have. And so uh, it does take 12 mines. Um, I knew it took 12 or 13, uh, but it does take 12. And the reason why, uh, you have to be at rank 3 to beat this guy. Or beat the tank, I guess. I can't call him a guy. But um, the reason being is because at rank 2, you can only hold up to 10 mines. Rank 3 allows you to hold 15, and since it takes 12, kind of have to be at rank 3. So best thing to do is, uh, you can see it shoots out bullets from both sides, and uh, if you go in the middle, it actually shoots out a rocket. And uh, don't touch the mine, or the don't touch the, uh, the tank, because if you touch the tank, you will, uh, crap, I just wasted a mine. Nice. So I'm going to go ahead and leave. Go back up there. You touch the tank, it's automatic death. So you stay on this side, wait. For him to go back up just like that. Lay down a mine. Just take your time. No run over it. That's how you know it's activated. Oh. Yeah, I have plenty of health. So we're good on that. Shout out a missile there. So we'll go ahead and uh, use some health. And um, can't squeeze past or anything like that. You have to get, you have to fight them. And uh, I actually found this out by myself. I don't remember how, but we can never get past this guy. When I, like, I remember telling you that we got to um, the rooftop with my dad. I mean, we can always get to this guy, but we can never get past him. We could have we shot at him and everything. Mines was just one of those things we never really tried. And of course, so many mines at that. I mean, who's gonna sit around and try 12 mines, you know? You only try that when you're desperate enough to try to get past him, and that's exactly what happened. So, but anyways, not too hard, just kind of annoying. Don't have to sit here and do this. So you just wait, be patient. I'm almost done with them. And uh, you, like I said, you only have to fight them once. So, so once you once you defeat them, you defeat it. So um, for some reason, I don't like being on the left side because the left side it seems like every time I'm over here, for some reason, I can never get my timing down. So I guess you really don't have to go all the way up there to him, uh, to the tank to make it explode, because as long as he can run over it, we're good. Oh, there we go. And, um, it only took 12, so we'll go ahead and use one of those. And move on to the next area. And... Here we're gonna go ahead and use the uh, the detector. Most people aren't gonna know to use this right away. I do just from uh, past experience. But there's six mines there, as you can see. All right. And so we'll go ahead and see what they have to say. Big boss here. It's a roadblock. Try to slip through wearing enemy uniforms. Switch big boss communication frequency to 1213. Okay. So, uh, you have to pick up the uniform. Hopefully, you know, when you're playing, you do pick it up. Okay, in we go. So, apparently they think I'm one of them. Alright, so, here we actually have another boss we're going to be running into. I know, so, sh so soon, too. But, uh, at least he's a, he's a lot easier. And, uh, let's see. 
And now pretty much we're going to be lost from here on out because um, I don't remember where to go on everything. <laughs> and how did that? They gave us ammunition. That's nice of them. Even though this is not the ammunition we need for the next boss, but that is perfectly fine. This will work. Since I'm at a new rank, apparently I can hold... Oh, I can hold up to 200 now, that's right. So we'll go ahead and fulfill up on... Uh, fill up on some ammunition. And uh, head to the next area. Now hopefully I have enough ammunition to uh, beat this next boss. Like I said guys, uh, after pretty much after this boss, I'm completely lost. It's going to be all adventure and exploring for, for us. So, um, alright. It's like a bulldozer looking thing. And the only way to beat it that I could find was uh, the grenade launcher. And you just shoot. And I can exit. There you go. You can exit if it starts getting closer, but it will smash your. I, I'm sure if you touch it, it'll kill you automatically. So um, take some uh, some grenades. Make sure you have have enough. Which I apparently have plenty. Okay, here we can actually use our uh, infrared goggles again. Yeah, see these ones move. Not that it really matters because uh, you not know, like the enemies are tough that that are sent after us anyways. <laughs> One shot kills. So, all right, now let's see where we go. We'll go on the uh, second floor first. Now I know that I think some of these are traps. To be honest. I know that there's traps around here. I remember one getting here one time. I don't remember how to beat these guys. Oh, wait a minute. Grenade launcher, I think, works. Grenade launcher work? Let me see. Well, we'll try it first on this guy. Since we can kill him. No, the grenade launcher does not work. I think you have to use the rocket launcher whenever you find it. So, um, we'll go ahead and... Actually, we're not going to beat these guys yet. We're going to go ahead and explore the rest of the areas. Oh, crap! I always forget to switch my, uh, my weapon. Alright, and we're definitely not going in that door. Anyway. Yeah, that's what I figured. I figured that's where it went. And let's see. I know there's a rocket launcher that you can get, and I think you might need the rocket launcher to uh, beat those guys. Which actually, the rocket launcher I think is in that other door over there. Which we can't get. We can't get that rocket launcher anyways until we save a certain POW, which tells you how to achieve the rocket launcher. So, um. Alright, so I guess there's nothing on this floor we can do yet. So, I'm gonna go ahead. It's either. Oh, you can't go down? You can only go up? Oh, man, that sucks. Do not remember that. So, um, actually, I kind of do remember that. Yeah. So, all right. Here's where it starts getting complicated because I think I need card number five to enter these. Oh no. Here we go. Let's see. Doctor P is on the second floor. Alright, so Dr. P is on the second floor, which we can't get to right now anyways, which I'm sure this is probably a dead end. Nope, 
take you all the way around. Go. So, and I know there's another elevator over here somewhere. But I think I need another card. I think I need card number five to get into some of these doors. It's only a matter of finding him. Yes. Oh. And I have located card number five. Asking it shall be given. Yes. <laughs> it's kind of nice. But I knew I was going to need that. So, all right. Get to this elevator. Uh, okay, I'm having vague memories of something that's coming up. So we'll go ahead and stop off on this floor. Okay. Now, I remember playing this one time, I actually ran out of bullets in this area, and so I was running around mad, like a madman, <laughs> punching and trying to be all sneaky-like. Even though I could have gone and just got more bullets in the other building. That was a close call. Can't cross the desert without a compass. Can't cross the desert without a compass. Which is true. We came to the desert one time and uh, we didn't know what to do because there's scorpions in the desert that can kill you and it just seems like the desert goes on. It's like endless. So, um, well, we'll try card five. Oh, and it's the right card. Oh, crap! Alright, and uh, card five apparently it opened that door. Honestly, don't remember how to beat those guys. That was a close call. Try contacting Resistance Fighter Jennifer on Wave Band 1248. Okay, so we need to remember that. Jennifer can give you direct support, but be careful. She's a snob. She's probably she probably she's probably won't answer you unless you are pretty classy. All right, so we're gonna end it there. That episode right there. Um, it says make sure that you're pretty classy. Uh, just I'll go ahead and tell you what that means. It means that you have to be uh, rank four, which we just got because we saved enough POWs to be at rank four. That's the only way that she will answer you when you try to call her. And you have to be in a very specific place to call her. And we're going to do that on the next. Uh, well, let's see where we let's see where we're at real quick. We'll see what's in this other door. We have to be. We'll do that in the next. Uh, next video uh, we'll do a calling and uh, which eh, that part stumped me for a while actually I had to look up online to find out what I was doing wrong why I couldn't figure out where to go and uh, so now I figured it out so um, of course oh can't get in that one so I guess you need key card number six. So we'll go ahead and stop it there and, uh, and uh, right here in this room actually. And uh, pick up here next time.